Hello everybody and welcome back to the Democratic Diary Technocracy. We are playing Solaris with the Federation's DLC expansion thingy. Good stuff. So, where are we? Well, we are this really long string of territory. Yes, that's exactly what I was going for. We're this long, unbuilt up, not very wide bit of territory. We have a lot of it. Uh, but we haven't built it up, it is very undeveloped. But maybe we'll sort that out in the next few episodes, maybe this episode even. Dunno. It all depends how our influence does. Now, let's just turn the UI on. So, let's just have a look here, get all this out of the way. We have elected a new ruler, Titus Fibaculanius. He was a scientist, but he's now the ruler. Good for you. Let's have a look. What do we get from you? Uh, you're older, or you live longer. Uh, outburst and s outpost even, and starbase. Ooh, that's really, really, really good. Really, really good. Really powerful, especially for what we are aiming for at this moment. Because you cost us a little bit less. That's nice. It's very, very nice. Yeah, so we weren't able to grab this system either. So I think we started expanding up here because there's a few tasty plants like this one had, if I remember correctly, yeah, Sea of Consciousness. And if we colonize it, we get a planetary decision. And we really wanted this system for obvious reasons. And didn't we do the amoeba thingy? Didn't that something come up about the amoebas? Yeah, they're like not hostile to us now. So we could actually go in here, I think. Yeah. Can we... Oh, you're building stuff. No. You're building... Oh, don't do that. Um, no. Go there. Go here, and then we'll send you back. There we go. We'll unpause it as well. So, that that's that. Now, the whole point of this game, not this game as a whole, but this playthrough, is uh, federations, right? Let's pause it again, just in case something crazy happens. It's all about federations, and we're trying to be like a super friendly race. We're xenophiles, we love everybody, and we also like technology. So, 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 one option is we try and befriend these guys. To, uh, is it at max? I feel like it might be at max. What, what do you need? War philosophy allows wars of aggression. So, hang on a minute then. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold your horses. So, we have unrestricted wars. So, if we say defensive, does that mean they'll let us join? Hmm. So, that's not... We could join these guys then. And they're, they're kind of similar to... Well, they're megacorps. They're all about the tr space. They're all about um, trading. So, I don't know if they're going to grow too much more. Especially when we're facing... Okay, let's go to Union's map. There we go. Look at this big honking alliance over here. They're, they're not included. But there's three people here. In a in four people here in a big federation. If we join this, it'll be a federation of three. But it's a trade federation. I think... What one are you? You're a galactic union. That's, I would like to go for Galactic Union. And we can form a federation with these guys. That's that's how we were able to figure out what each one... Well, what two of them do. But if we join a federation with these guys, they are superior to us. But they have two beastie boys right here. However, so there is a chance we'd end up going to war uh, with one of these two, or even both, which would be really, really bad. However... Just down this way over here, I did notice uh, there's some more xenophiles. I'm a federation. So we he hegemonic imperialists. What? Oh, they are. So we could befriend them enough. We are improving relations. We could befriend them enough and get powerful enough and expand far enough, perhaps. And there's also got to be some more races around here that we haven't seen yet, so that I think we kind of take a gamble on it. Uh, you're a hive mind. I don't think you can come into a federation, can you? Oh, uh, maybe. Hive mind. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know the rules on it. You? What are you? Hi. You're xenophile as well. Okay. What about you? 
You like us a little bit because we, we're, we're both materialists. So I think we have some options. I think we roll the dice. I mean, we can always leave the Federation, right? I think we roll the dice. So if I create a... Is it going to randomize the name? I don't know. I think we roll the dice. Also, oh, we could do a research co cooperative, though. Oh, it's research. It's free, though. I don't know. I think we go Galactic Unions. Diverse ethics impose a 50% smaller penalty to Federation cohesion. Cohesion, even. Don't know what that means, but it's a generic one. Or we can go with this one. We could go with this one. It, it kind of sticks with this whole thing that we're... Ah, oh, but we're Xenophile, so it kind of sticks... This one's probably better. I think this is more your, gener your, your generic... Um, federation and it probably means more ethics in it the better whereas this is very specific it's more techno technology and all that should we roll the dice and see if it... <sighs> sure i'm sure we can rename it anyway let's go ahead and do it except will you form a federation with us friend yes nice 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 we can kick you <laughs> uh and then we could also uh Wait, wait. Oh, you're in the... Oh, it's a, it's a Federation of Three. Oh, that's cute. We have favours. We are improving. We could stop improving now. Anyway, uh, we have... Oh, that's a big empire. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you sound like friendly people. <laughs> uh, yep, we've met them a few times. A new Federation. Let history record that on this day the governments of the democratic adari technocracy and the Safed interstellar mandate signed a treaty of federation a, as founding members of the cosmic information entente i like it they will now face the future as firm allies this research cooperative will provide the scientists of all its member states with the opportunities to pool their knowledge a new era of technological advancement has begun fantastic that's an instead of mandate. I thought we found it was the Empire of Ba 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 Ba. Is that a little slight little bug? Because I know these were our protectorate. They are our protectorates. We didn't sign the Federation with them. I mean, I guess we're all all three of us are founding members, right? Mm. Okay, let's have. What's this? Federation is losing XP. The heck is Federation XP when it's at home? They said yes. We're Federation level 1, right? Okay, let's have a look at relations now. We could form a commercial pact. I think, though, first, let's go grab our... Um... Okay, never mind. I think we just... I don't think you stop. You just reassign them, don't you? So, you are already doing it. Never mind. Never mind. You! Invite, we need excellent relations or an envoy sent. Improve relations. Empire of Vababa. Galactic community. I have no idea what you guys are, but do it. Okay, invite to federation. <laughs> We're not. Oh. Well, there goes that plan. This is what really bugs me with federations last time is it's like we need to. Yeah. Who do you want to get rid of? I guess we could get rid of one of you. Maybe the Mitron Corporation. You. See, this is what really bugs me. This is what bugged me last time about Federations, is the game's like, oh, I won't join you because that Federate, or they were, because they're in it. Ooh, they're nasty and, I don't know, it's really annoying. How about you? Will you join us? Do I have an envoy? Of course you do. We'll leave it go for a bit. We have literally just founded it. Oh yeah, we got, got a... Uh... Oh wait, no, that's all these, isn't it? Yeah, we need to build up our fleet a bit. That's fine. Let's have a look at the Federations thing. Ooh! Ooh, this is new. Ooh, I like it. Cohesion. Right. Right. Okay, let's start from the top left then. 
Wow, they're, they're a bit bigger than this. Okay. Research cooperatives. The federation is leaned to... Okay, this is just the intro. This is just what it does. Centralization is minimal. Uh, we could assign an envoy to contribute to the cohesion. Let's have a look at members. Uh, so, they are bigger than us, so I assume they'll be able to vote. But they're our protectorate, so I wonder if that counts, which means we're bigger. I don't know. Dauntinal. Okay, fleets. Mm, there is no fleets. Okay, we can design some. Ooh, this is new. Oh, total cohesion mind standard. Well, let's go back to here, because this seems like an important thing. Level one is research corp. Oh, that's just the, the basic stuff. Level two. Uh, research speed. Ooh, increased by five percent. Wait, what? Oh, federation research agreements. Oh, okay. And then research speed is just increased. And then we get more alternatives. How do we do that? 1200 XP. Right. Okay. This. Cosmic information on taunt is plus 0.5. Diverse ethics. Oh, so that's what the Galactic Union does. I see. Now, what would be cool is if, like, it's just three of us, not a static image. And as we got more, like, our pictures would show up. That would be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and sign an envoy. Who should? Who are you? The son. I'm assuming you're. S yeah, you're over here. Well, we'll go ahead and accept you. Are we gaining? I think we're gaining. Yeah, we'll be fine. Okay, cool. So we'll leave that as is. We'll let it run. Let it update and see if it says we're no longer. Complete. Okay, we are still losing XP. Okay. Cool. Uh, you. Uh, let's get some more starbase capacity because we're actually quite near our cap. Let's get rid of that. We'll, we'll come back to that in a sec. Uh, let's go ahead and what, what can we? Not a lot. Uh, it's also on auto, which uh, I don't like auto ships. So we can't get rid of auto ships. What if we change it? Does it stay as auto? And will it like overwrite our stuff? There we go. Uh, two, two, and one. Boom. You can have afterburners. Uh, boom. Yep. 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 And... Yes, sure. The Numerius. I like it. I like it a lot. Cool. I didn't hear the little beep thing. Um... That's actually perfect. Uh, here we will have that, two, three, and then we'll have a small one at the back as well. This is all fine, except I will add... Let me know in the comments. Is there like an opt... I always go 50-50, just because I know some weapons are better against shields and some weapons are better against armor, some completely ignore them. But it's next to impossible to design a generic ship, in my opinion. That's a beat a catch all. Like you have to know who you're fighting and what they have, and we don't know who we're gonna fight. You don't know who what they ha are gonna have. So I just kind of go fifty fifty and leave it at that. Let me know in the comments if that's a smarty do thing to do or if I'm being a stupid. Um, I think we go fifty. So if we can stay kind of like out of range, that might be good. Uh, odds I will get a bit closer and these are kicking anyway. So I'm fine with that. There we go. We can also build... Yeah, we've got a bit of an empire spawn. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the uh, fleets. Uh, we can't form a fleet. Okay, that's fair. Never mind then. Laws. Let's have a look at laws. Uh, succession type rotation. Ooh. I did hear about some of these. I didn't know there's this many, though. It, it kind of sounds like... Um... I, I can't think of what it sounds like. I'm, I'm having a mind fart. It reminds me of something, though. CK2. Like, yeah, it sounds like CK2. Like, the, you know, this is how your leaders change positions and stuff like that. Obviously, it's a bit bigger since the Federation, but hey, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so we could do random. They won't like it, though. We get a bit more monthly cohesion. Uh, we can't really do that anyway. 
Centralization. Oh. So here we need to level up. Again, this is all very CK2-ish. Uh, in CK2, you start off either at minimal or low, or maybe medium, uh, depending on who you're playing as, in terms of centralization. Um, I think it's like Imperial Centralization or something like that. And you can increase it, but it takes a long time. Generally, it's pretty good to go to very high. Uh, wow. And you do get debuffs, but ultimately it's generally better to do that, because you unlock a lot more of these. What's this? Succession term. Oh, uh, they don't like that. Is that because I'm... I'm they, oh, they don't like anything. Status change. Oh. I like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, can subjects join? If we do that, I think our protectors would leave, but I'm fine with them joining. Vote weight equal diplomat. Okay, so yeah, we all get one vote. We'd have to change it, but we can change that at oh, level 3. Wow. Unanimous vote for war. I mean, we're peaceful people. So I think that makes sense. It's interesting, though, that they're all they're minus 50 for any kind of change. Except for this one. Wow, this could be a really boring uh, federation thing. Like, literally, they're, they're just like, nah, nah. Anyway, so that's federation. I guess we got a wait. Um, recipient must be what? Is this a bug? Recipient must be independent. I mean, we are independent. Anyway, we are the leader for now. Let's go ahead and unpause and continue doing awesome stuff. So, you, you have finished. We can't go here. I don't think there's really anything here that I particularly wanted. Uh, space Amoeba Hunters. Is that Space Amoebas? Because I think we did that thing, didn't we? Um, I mean, there's nothing particularly here that I care about. I think we just go here, grab the, get, grab the trade. Boom. Uh, that's fine. You'll go there just to check out, see if the space amoebas here are friendly or not. Uh, here we got plus three to social, wherever that is. And we'll let things just go and potter along as they do. Adrift, where are you? Situation lock Hi. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. What do we need in Ravenock? Yeah, I'll come to you in a sec. We need a construction ship. Oh, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Come on. Oh, you're on your way. Never mind, that's fine. Uh, the Galactic Senate has passed a resolution from the Galactic Market. Interesting. Um, de facto Galactic Trade, unbound by performance of international diplomacy, has existed since we first discovered that we are not alone in the universe. Uh, we should surely benefit... Okay, so basically... In the past, before the expansion, this would be, I think it's like a random event, or it's like it was triggered. It wasn't voted on, because the Galactic Senate is new. But now this looks like it's very similar to um, what happened previously. So let's go to Adaria. Adaris, even. Well, I guess Adaris is the system, and then Adaris is the planet. Oh, we can upgrade you. Boom. Uh, let's go decisions. Uh, stability is quite low. Bit worrying. Uh, what do we want? Courage planet. There we go. We do this. I mean, we're making a decent amount of influence, but I mean, is there a way where it tells us the likelihood? I don't think so. I don't see it anywhere. Let's go ahead and nominate it. Boom. Adequate. How about we oh we need another 150 wow that's that's expensive <gasps> oh my god how much minerals is that is that 200 oh it's 20,000 that's fine uh how many can we store we do need to increase that a little bit then hmm why is the crime going up? it's just population Interesting. They must have changed it a bunch because I never used to have uh, crime issues. Is it because the amenities are quite low? It could be. 
administrative officers turns into administrative capacity we get um how much do we get colonial bureaucracy no plus 20. Doesn't, we only have 10, is that plus, I mean we'll find out, because uh, I'm going to replace this with something that gives them happiness. Is, is it hollow theatres? Plus 20 amenities? Yeah. I think that'd be fine. We'll also upgrade that. Uh, all this is fine. So we'll, we'll let it go. So we just have to nominate our, um, We well we've nominated our capital, but I want to give it another one. What's this? Cooperative. We got another. Well, not long actually. Um, yeah. So we nominate our capital to be the center of the galactic market, if, which, if we win, we get certain bonuses from. So I'm gonna speed up time, and I'm gonna hope that we can get another 150, and we'll dump it into that. This is what from tech and that, and then Starbase Inc. upkeep goes up a scooch. That's fine. That's Research fine. complete. What do we get? Ooh, shiny blue lasers. We get moats, but I really like plasma throws, so we're going to upgrade everything to plasma throws when we grab it. Um, right. Now this is kind of handy. Uh, we don't really have trade routes just yet, I don't think. Um, trust cap, meh. But I think we go with this one. It would just help. Okay. Who that? Pure... Uh, Spire and Reavers, who are they? Uh, they got, they declared war. So I think we, okay, let's double check. Has it, it's ticked over a few times. Still can't do this. Probably because of this. Members. So we all have one in each. That's fine. Uh, I think. Yeah, it doesn't say our cohesion here. It should probably, in my opinion, it should say the cohesion here. Um, it shows it here, but it. You know, it should. This is the home page, so it should show that, in my opinion. Uh, let's go ahead then and fleet manager. You're up to max. Let's go ahead and create a new fleety boy. Uh, we could. Let's let's have a look at our designs first. Ship design manager. Yeah, so this is well out of date. All right. So we're not well ahead. Because we do have these, but I think one of our allies has the UV lasers. Uh, we are the same in terms of shield tech and afterburners, but someone again has the improved boosters as well as the improved reactors. Interesting. So we need better reactors, I feel. Get ready, you. There. Save that. Yes, please. So we need to get better tech, basically. TLDR is that. Uh, do, do, do. To be fair, we've also been doing a little bit of... Yoink, yoink. You're fine. Swarm's fine. Uh, we've also been doing a bit of uh, situations. So it's been distracting us from that. Um, where is our fleet? How much are you going to cost? Pretty much everything. complete. I think it would be more beneficial uh, if we... Ooh, what's this? Archaeological event. Oh, wow. Uh, the excavations of the ancient structure found near the valley's entrance is proceeding according to plan. Many artifacts have been discovered, most of which seem to be variations of hunting weapons and trophies. A partially translated sign, which appears to denote the name of the structure, reads, Valley of Macvale, Hunting Lodge Primus. Interesting. I think this is where we found like a bunch of different sapient races that didn't have... Yeah, so we think they were primitive. They didn't have projectiles or energy weapons. But there's multiple different species. 26 different species. So that's what we found so far. Interesting. Okay. What was I saying? Uh, right, fleet manager. So, if we do this... Is this going to be the fleet one then? I guess we can find out. And if it is the fleet one, so be it. Give it a turn. And turn. 
There we go. 12 and 6. I'm happy with that. Uh, yeah, we can't do that. Because... Probably because it'd be counted as a Federation fleet. Right. Okay. Never mind. Undo. Undo, undo, undo. Boopy doop. There we go. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 12. How much is it going to cost to fully reinforce? Really? Only s that can't be right. Yeah, that is not right. This is still bugged. Stellaris has always been like this, in my opinion. It's always been a bit confusing. Um, it so shows what we can currently afford, but this is nowhere near how much it's going to cost us. Reinforce. 13 ships for 114? Yeah, you're off by a factor, I think, of like 50 at least. What? Because that's off as well. Anyway, we'll let it do its thing. Uh, so I'm drafting Mandate. Uh, who are you? I think you're over here, weren't you? Uh, Havoli and Havoli is. Which one are you? You. Okay. So if we did want to invite these guys into our federation, it would mean risking a war with these guys. So I'd want to get a bit stronger first. Is going up. Um, I'm sorry, what? It's only 2263. We haven't been playing that long, have we? Why would they say no? This is what really bugs me as well. It's like we need more people in it. The Xenophile, let them in. Oh my gosh. Whatever. Um, I was supposed to report that they're nearly there. If they're the first to get there, we must double our efforts and find more insights. I thought, I mean, we do have an Elgate, right? Do we have an L gate? I thought we did. No, we have a gateway. Gateway. I think we. I don't think we have an L gate. Ooh. Um. Yeah, we don't have an L gate anywhere near us. It's just a regular old gateway. Got wormholes. Am I being blind? I don't see a L gate or any other gateways. Well, we don't care. Okay, System survey complete. so while all that's happening, uh, should we look into... We are colonizing a planet, that one. Who died? Envoy. We, I don't think we can rename these guys. They just replace on their own. I don't know where to see them. Unless it's under contacts. No. Hi. Uh, yeah, sure. I, I like faster research speeds. Is it here, maybe? Advisor, no. Demographics, no. Relations, oh that's cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Don't know. So we're going to grab this planet anyway. You. Ah, oh, dang it. So yeah, we, we can now safely go through these. Ah, <sighs> fine, we'll go there. Actually, they're gone. Interesting. Hi. Space Amoeba Hunters, that's fine. Go here. That should be fine. Uh, what are we going to call this? We could call it, that's only a size 14. I thought there's some bigger ones, like you. You're a big tasty boy, aren't you? Anomaly found. Yeah, go for it. Oh, we got to wait. Doopy 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 doo. Oh, it's going to take a little while, actually. Yeah, never mind. I was gonna say well it won't take too long to get it. I'm used to the old playthrough where that would have taken like no time at all. Ooh, what do we get? That was quick. And the Xavier Progenitors, who are you? They sound like a fallen empire. Hi. Oh they're science people. Hi. You like us. Cool. So what do we get? Fossilized remains. Continued excavations near the hunting lodge have provided more details. Havantia Prime and the Valley of MacVile, specifically, served as a hunting reserve for the ruling warrior class of an interstellar polity known as the Retorax Domain. The Retorax, a predatory avian species, periodically collected random individuals oh, I see where this is going, from the many subjugated alien civilizations under their rule. These aliens were then hunted down and killed in the wilderness of MacVile, according to the rituals that governed uh, Retorax society. 
This tradition lasted several centuries, until the domain eventually succumbed to an undefined outside threat. So basically, it was a case of uh, Hunger Games, right? Is uh, I volunteer and all that stuff. Oh yeah, we got that building. Good, good, good. Oh, we have so much to build. So, 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 so much to build. So little time. You, what do you, oh, you, you actually need to replace. Uh, sure. Boom. Go ahead and auto. Uh, non-aggression pact? Right, we should probably do some diplomacy. Hi. Oh. Why not? Oh, it's because you have one. We should have got it while we had the chance. Can't get none of these. How about you? Dang it. Alright, whatever. We tried. We tried. There's got to be some more people here, though. Uh, hi. Greetings, Adali. We understand that your empire has come into possession of a cache of data containing the brain scans of an extinct species, taken from a world, taken from the very world they once inhabited. Even though your species is still too primitive to utilize this data, we laud your efforts in preserving this last remnant of a once vibrant civilization. As part of our efforts to conserve and catalog endangered species in our endangered species preserve, we wish to take this data and use our cloning technologies to bring a small number of this species back to life. Will you share it with us so we can fulfill their last wish together? Ah, uh, sure. A pop of the long dead Alvanian species will be created in the Zabiran Endangered Species Preserve. They'll be pleased and may show us favors in the future. Sure. Sure, you can have two. Uh, cool, cool. System survey it definitely looks like there's like an empire here. Construction complete. Okay. Hi. Okay. Uh, Senate is now in session. Ah, uh, we didn't get there in time. Shame. Um, that's a shame. Never failed that mission before. Anyway, it is a size twenty-one. I mean, the the good one is size thirteen. It's not that big. Right. I kind of want to keep. Oh, that's a very tasty. There's so many tasty planets out here. What's this? Oh, we need a full science. You, uh, you need to get a new dude. Sure. And go here. Grab that. Because we can't grab you. Any vessels? Uh 12k. Whoo, you're powerful. Um I guess go up here and grab it. It's gonna cost 75, but that's fine. I wanna kind of focus on expansion. Again, there's nothing really here. There is a bit of trade. There's nothing really here. We could go here, and that's pretty much the extent. Over here, I mean, there is this system. We should really also start considering... Um, you're going there. Six energy. But eight minerals. Minerals is fine. Let's go with energy for the time being. Oh, never mind. <gasps> Wait. It's fine. It's fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. Although we do really want this system. system survey complete. You, you're automating. Oh, uh, why is no one? Oh, someone's probably doing that and they died. Purple rain, very nice drink, by the way. Uh, what's this? Images capturing uh the mesmerizing purple colored rain taken by the ship. Uh, surfaces exploration pro probes somehow find their way into the hands of a cultural elite on Adaris. Oh, happiness. Nice. Cool. Alright, so what, what what's happening? What are we doing? Cooperative research channels. Everybody is saying yes. Cool. Um, we're currently founding the Galactic Market, which will probably end in a thousand days. Maybe. Cool. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. We've actually done quite a bit. We haven't done too much in terms of expansion or time progression. It's been more, well, diplomacy, really. Like, we founded a federation. There we go. Nice big federation here. Uh, we... Actually, that's pretty much it, isn't it? 
Yeah, we found the Federation that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we did also expand a little bit. Um, oh, hello. Uh, we also realized we can now go here because, although oddly, not showing... Are they just not showing up anymore? Or are they gone? I don't know. But, yeah, so I guess we'll finish expanding here. We've got the Galactic Market going as well, which we need to deal with. Uh, I think we'll hold off on expanding our territory until that's over. Uh, let's have a look at this. We might look into um, fine-tuning this bit, maybe get rid of the Migration Pacts and the Excess Research Agreements. We'll probably keep the commercial packs. That's probably giving us money, but we'll get rid of the research agreements. You've got to be in our federation for that because they're free. We're a research federation, so they're free for us. So I think that would be fine. Get a bit more influence per turn, uh, tick or month even, and that should be fine. But that's all in the next episode. Let me know what you think down below. Did we make the right call in founding a federation rather than joining theirs? Uh, it's the same size, but I think they're more powerful. They are level two, but they're also older. And this is going up. It's going up quite a lot. That's not going up quite a lot. This is going up quite quickly. So I think we'll be fine eventually. I don't really know what it means. Um, does that just mean we're gaining XP? Oh yeah, so we're losing XP per month, which means we're not gaining any. That's fine. So when it goes positive, we'll probably start leveling up. Okay, cool, 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 cool. It's just because we're, we started at like negative 100 cohesion, I guess, because we are brand new. But anyway, I think it's good. We improved our fleet a teensy weensy little bit. Oh wait, our fleet actually quite significantly, I think, right? It wasn't that strong. Dunno. They're still stronger. Uh, we improved our economy a scooch and our tech is still pretty good. Now, our economy isn't as great as everybody else because we have been focusing on expanding. I'm going to wrap it up in terms of the expansion. I want this planet I think we'll cut it off here. There's nothing. I mean, there is this planet. It is pretty tasty. It is six science and then another three, so nine science in total. It's pretty nice. But I kind of want this mostly. It's 85% and it's a 23 size world. That'd be really powerful. And there's also all this. So I think we'll expand to here and then we'll maybe start filling things out as well as colonizing. I don't know if we'll colonize, grab this though, because we might let our little ally dudes grab this. I don't know. But we'll fill out. We need to do that, uh, and we'll see how it goes. But that's all for the next few episodes. Lots to do, lots coming up, uh, and it should be really exciting and interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments. Ooh, that's a nice planet system. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and leave a comment down below as well. Like I said, let me know your thoughts. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon just so you know when new episodes go live. But I'll see you all in the next episode.